hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit of an impulsive one i'm not gonna lie my anxiety is very high right now because i've never just like booked a trip um without really planning it but we're going to portland for the weekend for the long fourth of july weekend um my roommates and i are going to portland and if you were wondering i am currently on the west coast now that is a story for another day which i'm saving for another video to kind of talk about what i'm doing here on the west coast um a part of my gap year series obviously because I'm currently on my gap year and I decided that I would be able to complete an internship right after graduating from college which was probably not the smartest idea especially if you were really burnt out from college don't jump into an internship a full-time internship after but anyway that is not what this video is about that is some tea for another time but yeah I'm currently in Oregon on the coast of Oregon about three hours out from Portland so we are going to be going into Portland this weekend and staying at a hostel and doing all bunch of touristy things and thrifting and whatever so I'm excited to bring you along with me in the 24 hours that I'm going to be spending there this is very impulsive very unlike me I usually plan out my trips like months if not years ahead so yeah it's just trying something a little bit new during my gap year and while I'm out here on the west coast so hope you enjoy Hostel. Hostel? Is that how you say it? Hostel? Hostel. Hostel tour. That's where I'm sleeping. Emma, where are you sleeping? Are you right here? here? And then Armand is sleeping up here. But it's actually really nice. Nicer than before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have a little private bathroom. We we're supposed to stay in like an eight room, but I guess we are just with six people and we haven't met our like, we haven't met our flatmates. Yeah.
I'm gonna do a little Portland haul in order to wrap up this vlog. It is about 10 p.m. and I got back at like 5, um, so I've just been unpacking. I honestly took a really big nap because I'm just tired from the trip, but I'm gonna do a little Powell's bookstore haul. Okay, so the first thing I got was this tote bag, and I told myself I wasn't gonna buy another tote because I don't need another tote, but I actually have a poster of this like vintage jellyfish poster and I saw that it was a tote bag and I was like I need this in my life so I got it and it was actually pretty cheap it was like $20 for a tote bag which if you like buy tote bags you you know how expensive it can get so the first book that I picked up is beautiful country and a lot of you guys have probably seen this around honestly I've just been seeing a lot on bookstagram and I also follow the author on Instagram I believe and so I bought this book have no idea what it's about But it was also on the staff picks section Which I always love looking at when I am at independent bookstores because a lot of those people have a great taste next I got severance. Um, this is a super popular one. I've been hearing everyone talk about it It's kind of like one of those like underrated underhyped books that don't really get to see the spotlight um, so I bought this one and my friend also recommended it to me my friend who went to Portland with me So I'm excited to finally read this and I only bought another book and this is a used copy of outline And I know Rachel Cusk has a lot published. I think this was published in 2015 2014 um, But the main reason why I bought this book was because it is a work of autofiction I see it on a lot of autofiction lists and I've been trying to write uh, to read a lot of autofiction to inform my own writing so I'm writing an autofictitious novel so I've been reading a lot of it and this one is super good so far so I'm excited to update you guys on these Okay, the next thing I bought was a Powell's bookstore pin. I had to get this specific design. I really think it's like cute. Um, and also I actually collect enamel pins. So I decided to get one from Powell's because these are like limited editions. You can only get them in Powell's. So yeah. All right, that's pretty much it for my Powell's bookstore haul. I didn't really buy too much just because it was very overwhelming, to be honest. I was very excited to be in there, but I think the first day that we got there, I only had 40 minutes to shop and I was very overstimulated by the amount of books around me. But I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my Portland trip. Those are just a snapshot into some of the moments. Um, it was really fun kind of doing something impulsive because like I said, usually my anxiety just doesn't let me leave the house sometimes. So it was really nice to do that. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my gap year adventures, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll update you soon. Bye.